but we need to pray because there is a strong covering of the demonic in the atmosphere of Kenya there is a very strong covering of the demonic the atmosphere is not good at all let us have a national prayer day as soon as possible let us attack the cloud the dark cloud that I'm seeing in the atmosphere so that there will be peace these are demonic attacks that people are not happy normally these are the people who determine who will be the president of a nation and they belong to a group of cults in a way that are if their own is not there they will not allow the one who's ruling to rule in peace or they will try to remove the person so that's what is happening at the moment good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our channel now it appears that the impeachment of Riga de Gashagwa, the deputy president of the republic of kenya has continued to attract numerous reactions across the divide with religious leaders coming out openly to express their dissatisfaction and opposition to the whole process. According to the quote-unquote spiritual message is that the removal of Riga Tengashagwa from the office as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya may plunk the country into political war, coup d'etat, as well as tribal clashes amongst communities that will be instigated by dissatisfied region that will feel isolated politically speaking nonetheless i don't think that will be the case if the following video from a member of the agiku community is anything to go by rigadi cannot mobilize saisi kesi yake inaendelea Ni wakikuyu wangapi umeona wakifanya maandamano Wewe niambie ingekuwa ni Raila Odinga anakuwa impeached <laughs> Wewe we ungekuja Nairobi <laughs> Let us remember 
that we are impeaching tribalism, not a man. We are not impeaching the Kikuyu. Kuna wa Kikuyu wazuri. Mimi ni mkikuyu. Wangare madhai was a kekoyo. At this juncture, let me share my thoughts as follows. Since Gashagwa was impeached, every region, every community, every political party, every sector, every government department, every person is going about with his or her business as usual, as if nothing happened. We all know that political matters attract chaos, which eventually turns into a crisis which up to now has not been experienced in Kenya. In fact, there are no signals of such occurrence and, at, and it is making me start to question Regard Gashagwa's political popularity and mobilization, not just across the nation, but even in his own Mount Kenya region, and to be specific, in Mathira, Nyeri County. I don't think if this would be happening for someone of Raila Odinga's stature, the country would have been at peace. The entire country would have been chaotic. The church and the international community would be addressing the country and urging for peace and tranquility. My humble submission is that Gashagwa has got no political power and political mobilization techniques. Something that is going to make him helpless because he is going to be sent home peacefully, unperturbed. I wish he would have invested in political power and mobilization. No one would have dared impeaching him. And contrary to that, Kenya would be experiencing political clashes. The situation would have been out of control. My second view is that Riga the Gashagwa is his own enemy. His unthoughtful messages is what has landed him in trouble. He lowered himself to a regional kingpin, yet he is a national leader going by his stature and position. And that is why I don't think people can take it to the streets to agitate in his support except his Mount Kenya region, which is shockingly watching peacefully as the events are unfolding. And from the prophetic part of this video, I am not being convinced that political clashes may erupt as a result of the ongoing process where former DP Rigat Gashagwa is fighting his impeachment in the court. And even if the courts will upheld his removal from office, Kenya won't have any political crisis. As always guys, these are just my thoughts. Let's continue with our discussion in the comments section of this video.